The following is an excerpt from KTWU's Sunflower Journeys. had the Anchorage Opera, and let's see, picture here, Robert Shaw, uh, meeting uh, the great maestro Robert Shaw at the airport. I love looking at these pictures, and it's just wonderful to know that, that that's in my background, that uh, I like what I'm doing now. Then, then let's do it. We'll do it. Here we go. Tenors, come here. Now fade. Okay. Take a breath. To heal so that you can keep going. It sounds so asthmatic. I sort of, in my own mind, decided that I was tired of providing dinner music for people who weren't very hungry, you know. So, so I, um, I decided that if I ever went back into music, it would be as a volunteer and uh, for a segment of society that hadn't had the opportunity. You can do it with us. Absolutely you can. I thought it might be something different, you know, from the uh, type of life that I have lived and that. And uh, so actually uh, it's been a wonderful experience, uh, something that I would encourage and recommend to a lot of people. So Instead of, okay, and then hear the woman go, blah, blah. I never thought I could be a, a part of anything, aside from my family, uh, be a part of anything that could make um, such beauty. Well, I'll tell you, folks, I've decided I enjoy taking risks because as little time as we have to throw these things together, it... How do I select them? I, I take everybody that comes in. I'm not... Uh, I just don't think I want to give anybody one more failure in life. I don't know why you didn't get them. So they all come in and they it's can't all fault. sing, believe me. But they have a wonderful time. I have been tuned by Elvira. I couldn't even read music before I started this. And um, um, with some strange alchemy she has, she turns us into an instrument, which is what we are. Part of the chorus, in fact, half of the chorus, is made up of volunteer singers from the Kansas City area wonderful singers, the volunteers, the finest in the area. If you're Lansing, stand with Kansas City, vice versa. Yes, ma'am. She tries to bring out the best in everyone. And um, she has quite a sense of humor as well. I mean, she'll let you know if you can't sing that well, sing less. Yeah, 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 that's funny, right? But not that funny, maybe. She, to me, okay. she's a All graceful right. person. She has her rough edges and rough sides, you know, and that, but uh, it's all done out of, you know, care, you know, and love. So uh, when I hear her name and think about her, that's what comes to mind is love, you know. I'll make me world. I work it so that we do a lot of speaking in our concerts. We have narrations. The moon was on its left. The stars were clustered about his head. Although I've spoke uh, in front of crowds before, but it's usually about something I've been comfortable with or about myself. 
and to narrate something, you know, as uh, wonderful as, as the creation, you know what I'm saying? Yes, it has me a little nervous. He batted his eyes and the lightning splashed. He clapped his hands and the thunder rolled. I hope I'm giving them self-esteem more than anything because it's got to be pretty tough to come into a wealthy church in Kansas City or Topeka in a short sleeve blue shirt with a number, don't you think? You've got to give them self-esteem so that when they go out, they will like themselves, which they have to do before they can like society. The word redemption has something to do with paying what you need to pay back and then going on. I don't know what they're in there for. I don't want to know. I don't need to know to do my business. I don't need to know that at all. There's a lot of times you can see that, that they're having tremendous difficulty dealing with who they are, where they are. You do sit with one after a rehearsal for a while whose father has just died and he can't go to the funeral. It's tough. Well, why not invest yourself in other people's lives? Why keep everybody at arm's length? Of course, I don't do, I probably overdo it at times. Um, not only with with the Lansing men, but also in my own life. You know, I'm I've, I have never been I've never been one to stay at arm's length any place. I'm wired. Here we go. Oh, you're on. Everybody up here, please. Piano. Let's. Here we go, folks. There is something wonderful that happens uh, when men sing together. They come hoping that the experience will prove what they've been thinking about inmates all the time. And that image of what an inmate is, I think, is totally shattered. Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody. I will next year be in my 10th year of doing this work. I started when I was 70, and I'm now 80. And it's been the best 10 years of my life. I get very impatient with people my age that find not enough to do and that, that find the days are long. Go help somebody. You've just seen a segment from KTWU's Sunflower Journeys. If you would like more information about our show, check out sunflowerjourneys.org.